the stampingcatcrew.com. I wanted to show this baby card today. Um, I used the brand new bundle called Little Elephant. It's a clear mount stamp set and bundled with this cute elephant builder punch. So you can see the parts that are here. I actually took out the elephants. So I've pre-done a lot of the parts. Um, and I'm going to show you how we put that together. The parts I did, I stamped the elephants and I used actually the mint macron paper and I've been doing a series using these laser cut 12 by 12 sheets of paper so there's some that have these really fun shapes to them that are all here and that's what we're going to use on this card and then there's also some amazingly gorgeous like floral sheets that you can actually cut out all the flowers I've done some videos on that so this punch actually has the larger elephant, the smaller elephant, and then the ears can be done separately. And then also the little eye or little drops of water. For the drops of water, I actually chose to use these um, iridescent sequin. Super cute. So we're gonna show how to do that and an easy way. I did a little bit of the old olive ribbon and then obviously the two little ears in old olive. So. I'm going to set those aside. Um, I've got some gold foil paper here that I did a scalloped um, 1 and 1 8 inch circle punch. And I did a 1 inch sentiment that says, hello, little one. So I'm going to build that up right now. Take some of our snail adhesive. I'm going to center that right on here. And then I've done a little bit of the old olive, a little tiny knot. And so if you take one of the glue dots here and you can actually fold those over so when you're doing something really small like a knot like this you can just actually tuck it right on the end of that and then I know that I want it right up at the edge here and we're just going to take some ribbon snips on each end pretty up those ends. So that's it right there. Get rid of the extras. So I've pre-stamped in the mint macron the two elephants and I always try and keep in mind how these are going to feed into um, the punch when you flip it over. So it's much easier obviously to stamp on your paper first. I knew I was going to feed it in this direction and so if I do this on a smaller part that's thinner I don't end up wasting a lot of paper above here. So I can just flip that over, punch out my elephant, and that doesn't waste any of the top paper. If I have the elephant and I feed it in towards the bottom here, and you can see kind of how I'm centering that image to have equal space all the way around, I'm going to flip that over, and then you don't waste a lot of the paper that direction. So always keep in mind when you're punching out the shapes, kind of the orientation that your paper is going to be fed into, and that'll help save a lot of paper. So as I said, these are some die cut images um, that we had. The only thing I did was I took these two off because I knew I wanted to make some of the fun shapes. And then I also have this die cut image. So I wanted to just use the edge of one of these. So I'm going to grab actually our paper here and I'm just lining this up on the edge and we want enough of an edge to have adhesive so I'm going to add leave a little bit of an edge if I hold my finger here and I hold that down it's going to hold that in place so I've taken this part off and I've left this part to add the adhesive to and then I have these two now you can see when we go to do this, I didn't attach this down yet because I knew this was longer and I wanted to be able to use the adhesive, attach that down, and then cut off the extra that was on the bottom there. Okay, so all those are attached down the way they're supposed to be. I have these two elephants here, the big one and the little one, and I have both of the ears done. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, because I'm going to use this for the um, sequins as well, I'm going to put a little dab of glue on here, and I actually do this a lot. So I use one of these tools here to pick up glue that I want spread around in a particular spot that maybe is too small and I want something that's a little different than the fine tip glue, which I actually love, but I use it for different kinds of things. Like if I have a very small lattice work or something like that. So for these, I liked this kind. So then we're just gonna lay out how we want these to go. I'm just gonna take some of our snail adhesive So the final part is going to be adding the sequins and I'm going to fast forward through that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, tool. I'm going to be using it to pick up the glue and I'm going to put the glue where I want to put the sequins down. And then we have this tool that's coming out in a 2018 holiday catalog. It actually has putty on the end. It's a pickup tool, has lots of neat attachments. So be watching for that. It is amazing. Okay, so that's it for this card. You can see the little elephant spout uh, for water, and we've made the envelope pretty with our little baby elephant holding the bouquet of balloons. And love this tool for picking up the sequins. And then you saw um, one of the ways to do it also is to put a little dab of glue, drag it in, and then add it to where you're wanting to add it to. So watch for that tool, it's amazing. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up. Everything helps and happy creating.